major crash in Saturday's Blue Ridge Outlaw Late Model Race at Sumter Speedway. Justin Mintz's car on fire on top of the wall, and at the same time, Tony Ayers is flipped over. Dozens of people come out to assist the drivers. Both drivers walk away from this crash. All spectators fine as well. This wreck, one of many in the Blue Ridge race, 12 cars start, only five finish. Kerry Gibbons in the 07 starting sixth. He works his way up to the front and the pride of Manning. Gibbons wins it, his third win at Sumter. Oh man, that was a long one. I was just hoping to survive, but everything worked out. We were able to hang on, came out with the win. All regular classes in action too. In street stock, it's a battle between Brian Welch and TJ White, but both of their cars get disqualified. So the 65 of James Murphy wins it, his first of the year. In extreme four, Michael Bruner dominates again, second straight win, fourth of the year. Ten cars racing in stock V8, Terrell Holloway cruises to victory, his third straight. For Super Street, one last tune-up before next week's Brian Prescott Memorial, Ryan Wynn wins his first of the year. And in Modified 4, Russell Lamberth picks up his first career win. Two years we've been working at this and we finally got it and it paid off. Hard work pays off every night out in the shop working, getting it right. Another night of racing in the books at Sumter. Next week, the 2000 to win Brian Prescott Super Street Memorial. Can anyone stop Drew Shealy? He's looking for his fourth straight Prescott Memorial win. 44 laps will decide it next Saturday, joining all regular classes for another night of action at Sumter Speedway. In Sumter, I'm Will Volk.